Horseshoe crabs are incredible species. They've been around for 450 million years. They've seen the dinosaurs come and go. They've survived four mass extinctions. They've been spawning on coastal beaches all that time. Every spring, about May and June, horseshoe crabs come into shore to spawn. They dig a nest in the sand and they lay their eggs. Those eggs hatch out two weeks later. The eggs that don't stay underground and are on the surface, they provide food for migratory shorebirds. Red dots are migrating north to the Arctic from the southern part of South America. They would not be able to survive on that journey without fattening up on horseshoe crab eggs. Today, horseshoe crabs are chronically depleted in Massachusetts. In the earlier part of the 20th century, there were even bounties on horseshoe crabs because they were believed to be eating clams that were valuable on Cape Cod. You could get paid four cents a tail for every horseshoe crab that you killed in the 50s and 60s and into the 70s. While these bounties ended, hundreds of thousands of horseshoe crabs are still harvested for bait for the whelk fishery. But today, we have an incredible opportunity, maybe a once in a lifetime opportunity to save the horseshoe crab. State regulators have set new rules and they proposed these new rules to the Marine Fisheries Advisory Commission. And in March, the commission's gonna decide whether to accept those new regulations. We need you to take action right now to let the commission know that it's important to the citizens of the Commonwealth to protect the horseshoe crab. Whenever I'm out walking on the beach and doing spawning surveys, people say that they remember when the beaches were covered with horseshoe crabs. We'd love to see that happen again.